Let's review some charcoal drawing techniques. First, have a subject to draw. I've chosen this perfume bottle. I'm gonna set it right here against the black background. And I've grabbed a 4B pencil because I want you to see my lines. So you're gonna loosely sketch your subject. And I happen to choose this perfume bottle that only has a little bit of perfume. So the translucency will be interesting to work with for the charcoal. So you want to get down the form with your graphite pencil. Have the basic shape down. Before you move on to the charcoal. There happens to be some text on this brand of perfume with the word sunflowers. So I'm just gonna quickly sketch the letters with the graphite pencil. And then proceed to grab my charcoal pencil. And go ahead using the charcoal pencil, thick and thin lines to illustrate the bottle. Holding the pencil on its side for shading, getting the contour down of the form. using my graphite lines as a guide. When shading, I'm also going to use some vine charcoal and bring out the bottle form, help to bring out the contour and the thickness of the glass. bottle itself. Then I'm going to use a blending stump to go in and pull out the form. Paying attention to the shape of the glass bottle and shading to the shape. Using that blending stump on its side. Also keeping the white of the paper for the highlights, being sure to observe. There's liquid slightly, slight amount of liquid in the bottle itself. So I wanna indicate that. Okay. 
go back with my charcoal pencil to pull out line details. Aid with the form. Bring the structure to the bottle with the line details. Keep the contrast, look at the thickness. Again, pay attention to the highlights. Great thing about working with charcoal is the immediacy of the contrast. You want to keep the thickness of the glass. Also want to keep the structure of the bottle form. Bring out the text on the bottle. Charcoal pencil aids with details. Want to be able to show the thickness inside the bottle. The transparency, again the contrast, coming back, going to grab my vine charcoal again. Bring up the contrast, it's a little easier for blending. Also to help give the bottle its depth, be sure to cast a shadow, paying attention to the light direction. Grab your blending stump. With the transparency in the bottle, you will see how that shadow lightens as it moves away from the bottle. Go for contrast, clarity with the blending. Tissue paper also works really well for blending. I'd like to take it and roll it up a little bit. Gives me a good clean surface to work with and to control the direction. As mentioned, there was some still a little liquid left in this bottle. So bringing out some depth, I'm going to grab my charcoal pencil again to make sure I indicate the flow of liquid in the transparency and again with the blending. Pull in some depth, take a look at the lid. Pull the 
contrast. I need a cleaner side to my tissue paper. I can also pull out the highlights with a nice clean eraser. And it also allows me to control the shape, bring some more depth to aid with the form. And a little trick for keeping an eraser clean or cleaning the eraser is have a piece of sandpaper ready to go. And you can use the sandpaper to wipe the eraser and give you nice, strong highlights. And then finish off with a sharp charcoal pencil. Be sure to reevaluate the form and finish up any contours. Clean up your lines. Bring some depth to your form. Wipe off any eraser marks. Keep it clean. And there you have it, a charcoal bottle that brings depth to your form. Charcoal shading. If you have any questions, be sure to ask.